One of the big questions I keep getting is how do I change my diode laser lens? Well, if that's your question, you've come to the right place. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to answer the biggest question I keep getting is how do you change the lens in your laser diode? Now, one of the things I want to back up and say, when we change the lenses, actually what we're doing is swapping the barrel. We're actually not changing the lens in the barrel. And I've gotten a number of requests of Mr. DIY3DTech.com, how do I get the lens out of this guy? and put it in this guy. That's not the idea. This is referred to as a barrel. This holds the lens that we're going to use, that we're going to swap. Now this just so happens to be the stock lens out of my uh, Ortur laser, my 15 watt Ortur laser, and yours are going to probably be just like this or very similar. And basically this just screws out uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. Now this piece down here, this is just for you to grab a hold of and this screws off of the barrel and you notice that the barrel is just like the other barrel now some of these might be longer and shorter but they're all going to have a barrel with the same threads the threads for diode lasers are common threads one of the other pieces to note is the notch always goes down so if you want to know which way to point it look for the notch and that goes down the non-notch side goes up towards the laser now more than likely when you order your lens and barrel you'll get one of these this is a bit of a retaining ring that actually came with this guy this is a g7 lens and it screws on there something like that and this is supposed to grab a hold of this and you know do the focusing one of the things you may or may not be able to do is actually take your new barrel and thread it into this old thumb screw and if you can that's great go ahead and do it sometimes the threads the, the threads on here are a little bit odd for some reason usually they're a standard thread into the um, into the barrel but then you can just screw this into back into your laser now most of the time there probably be a little retaining spring inside the laser that should stay in there if it comes out just push it back in there but again you do not swap the lens you just swap the barrel so for example one of the things which i have done is i've printed a 3d adapter to go on my g8 lens here and as i covered out in another video sometimes the threads can be a little bit loose depending upon the quality of the barrel and basically what i've done is use some teflon tape to snug it up a little bit the other thing you might note to uh, adjust for that in the stock or tur thumb screw it has this rubber washer in here which actually works against the sides of the laser to hold it snug so if you can get it back in there and you get it square and that works out that's great so one of the other things i'll do is put a link in the description below because i've designed a 3d printable adapter for this and also as i've talked about in a prior episode you can get a tap off of Amazon and I'll have the link to that below too where you can tap this now if you have an SLA printer you can actually print these out with the threads they're a very fine thread so with an FDM printer it's very difficult to get them but you can print it out 3d print it and tap it so again do not replace the lens replace the barrel it simply screws in screws out no big issue. If you have any more questions, hit me up in the comments below, and we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, Swag Shop's up there. Subscribe over there. Catch you. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.